Hello dear students, in this lecture let us discuss balance theory of sex determination in Drosophila. This is the part 2 lecture of mechanism of sex determination. In part 1 we discussed dosage compensation and Lyons hypothesis. Now in the first part of this lecture we have discussed what is chromosome theory of sex determination and according to this theory a male and female individuals differ in their chromosome constitution so there may be two types of chromosomes present in individuals uh, autosomes and sex chromosomes in one sex two sex chromosomes can be homomorphic and in other sex it can be heteromorphic so we have discussed that uh, this in detail in first part of this lecture uh, please refer to that now in this lecture we will focus on mechanism of sex determination in drosophila so uh, let us discuss what is gene balance theory of sex determination um, which was given by bridges so according to this theory Ratio between number of X chromosomes and number of complete set of autosomes will determine sex in Drosophila. The X chromosome carries female tendency genes while autosomes carry male tendency genes. So both these set of genes start functioning and there has to be a balance between them for an individual to become male or female so gene balance theory of sex determination is applicable for drosophila and this was given by bridges so according to this theory it is the ratio of x chromosomes and autosomes which determines the sex in drosophila for example when the ratio of x chromosomes is to autosomes is one the individual will be female while when it is 0.5 it would be male when this balance is disturbed the individual of drosophila deviates from normal male and female uh, for example when the ratio is of x by a uh, falls between 1 and 0.5 it would be intersex and when it is below 0.5 it would be super male when it is above 1 it would be super female so we let us discuss this more so in drosophila the experiment of cb bridges when he was doing experiment on non disjunction of x chromosomes it proved that a diploid set of autosomes with two X chromosome will always give rise to a female individual irrespective of whether these two X chromosomes are coming from same parent or different parents. So this suggested that in Drosophila Y chromosomes does not carry any sex determining factor it is the presence of one or two x chromosomes which is more important than the presence or absence of y chromosome for example here in this picture you can see that uh, say there is a um, uh, female drosophila with two sets of autosomes and one or uh, two x chromosomes and there is uh, a male drosophila with two sets of autosomes plus x and y chromosome so uh, they form say they form gametes so the gametes formed by female drosophila will be a plus xx say and the other gamete is without any x chromosome and in male drosophila say uh, the proper di disjunction has occurred in female there is non disjunction of X chromosome so that one of the gametes is without X chromosome 
when fertilization takes place between these two so you can see that the first individual here will be with two autosomes and three x chromosomes so this will be super female the second individual is uh, with 22 pair, uh, with two pairs of autosomes and two x chromosomes and y so this is female so irrespective of the uh, although the y uh, uh, chromosome is present in this individual but it will be a female the other the third progeny has two sets of autosomes plus x chromosome and there is the other x chromosome is missing so this will be male and the, uh, the fourth progeny dies because it has no x chromosome and the chromosome constitution is two sets of autosomes plus y and no x chromosome so if we see second and third progeny the second progeny is female although the presence of y chromosome is there and in the third is male so the difference between second progeny and third progeny is that there are two x chromosomes and in second progeny in third progeny there is only one x chromosome so this cross gave an indication that y chromosome has no role to play in determining sex in drosophila it is actually the number of x chromosomes which matter so the experiment of bridges which is mentioned above the cross which we have just discussed demonstrated that y chromosome is not important for determination of sex but it did not indicate whether the x chromosome alone determines the sex or if autosomes also play any role in uh, the mechanism so the individuals which were obtained had two x chromosomes as in normal female but they were intersexes so in further experiments although in further experiments when uh, cb bridges did further experiments he obtained individuals where uh, which had two x chromosomes like normal female but they were intersexes and each of these intersexes had an extra set of autosome so this indicated that autosomes also play a definite role in determination of sex so bridges came across certain individuals of drosophila which were triploid and females first on their chromosome constitution because they were triploid so their chromosome constitution was three sets of autosomes plus three x chromosomes so he crossed these triploid females with normal diploid males and when he crossed these triploid females with normal diploid males this was the cross which was obtained and in this cross you can see that there is two possibility of gamete formation in females so this is the first possibility where uh, the first gamete is with two autosomes and two x chromosomes the second gamete is uh, one set of autosome and one x chromosome then the second case is uh, that uh, there will be two sets of autosomes in first gamete with a x chromosome and the second gamete will be an autosome one set of autosome plus two x chromosomes so when such triploid females fertilize with the normal males with two sets of autosomes and an x y chromosome so these are the progeny these are the types of progenies which are obtained so in these eight type of progenies which were obtained the first progeny with three sets of autosomes and three x chromosomes was found to be female the next progeny with three sets of autosomes and xxy sex chromosomes this was triploid and intersex then this progeny with two sets of autosomes and two x chromosomes this was triploid 
and female the next progeny was with two sets of autosomes plus xy was diploid male the uh, this progeny the next progeny with three sets of autosomes plus two x chromosomes they were triploid intersex and the next progeny was uh, super male with three sets of autosomes plus xy the next progeny was with two sets of autosomes and triple x was super female and the last progeny with two sets of autosomes and double xy were diploid female so from this cross it was proved that it is actually the ratio of x chromosome is to autosomes which plays a role a very important role in determining sex in drosophila so x chromosome plays role in femaleness and autosomes uh, they play they have a role in maleness so the important point to remember here that in drosophila y chromosomes are not determining the sex of the uh, individual it is actually the ratio of x is to a ratio where x is x chromosome and a is set of uh, a, a, where a is number of x chromosome uh, number of um, a is set of autosomes so uh, here the x chromosome is determining the femaleness and autosomes is determining the maleness in so if we see say x is your number of x chromosomes which we have just discussed and a is your set of autosomes so if x by a ratio is 1 the individual will be female which we have just discussed if x by a ratio is 0.5 it will be uh, female it will be male if x by a is between 1 and 0.5 it will be intersex if x by a is more than 1 it will be super female and if x by a is less than 0.5 it will be super male so in the pre the cross which we have just discussed uh, this confirmed that the presence of triploid intersexes in the experiment conducted by bridges proved that autosomes also carry factors for sex determination because and intersexes are sterile individuals which are intermediate between male and female so now we can discuss as we have already discussed what is genes gene balance of sex determination by bridges that it is actually uh, the x by a ratio which determines the sex in prosophila so this we have already discussed in uh, previous uh, in the second slide right in the beginning of the lecture now there is a term called gynandromorphs so in drosophila occasionally flies are obtained when they have which have female characteristics in one part and male characteristics in the remaining part so such individuals are called gynandromorphs and uh, they are believed to be result due to the loss of a x chromosome in a particular cell during development so if this happens uh, during first mitotic division of zygote then one of the two cells of the two cell pro embryo will have the chromosome constitution two sets of autosomes plus xx with x by a ratio as one and the other uh, will have 2a plus x with x by a ratio uh, as 0.5 so the fly derived from such a situation will have half of its body as female another half as male so this is a term which is called gynandromorph so i hope the topic is clear to you please uh, refer to books like pk gupta peers etc to uh, have a better understanding of the topic and let us discuss in lex next lecture where we will discuss uh, mechanism of sex determination in plants and then we will meet and, and the other lecture will be mechanism of sex determination in animals so thank you students